I want to talk about the, the purchasing power of the people. When the Federal Reserve brings money into existence, takes value away from existing money that it's already circulating in the economy. These are inflationary events like the Fed is created, the, the Wall Street crash, the Bretton Woods Agreement, the oil crisis, and basically governments are giving us a lot of pressure. We lose more purchasing power while the government spending and the government members increase throughout the years. There's a question of when the financial system will fail people and there will be an uncomfortable restructuring of the debt amongst nation states. So I want to talk about the Cantillon effect. Richard Cantillon, an Irish French economist, very recognized in the 18th century. Cantillon held that market prices are not immediately decided by intrinsic value but are derived from supply and demand. If you want to sell something, prices are not immediately given to that product or, or service, right? So supply and demand determine the price of the product. He considers something very, very important, uh, the velocity of money. I already explained if in one of my last, uh, one of my videos that I will put it in the corner so you click and watch it. And the velocity of money is basically the quantity of exchanges made within a specific amount of time. It's how many times one dollar exchanges uh, within a time frame. Increases in the, in the money supply, banknotes or fiat currency could affect prices by effectively increasing the velocity of the deposited currency, right? So if a central bank pumps more money into the economy, the resulting increase in prices does not happen evenly. The central banks injects money like the quantitative easing one, two, three, four, that like we just explain. Well, inflation will not happen from one day to another. It happens unevenly. Cantillon explained that the first ones to receive the newly created money, like the helicopter money basically, see their incomes and their purchasing power rise, whereas the last ones to receive that newly created money see their purchasing power decline as consumer price inflation comes as a product of that newly created money already in circulation. That means that the purchasing power and the wealth is transferred from the savers to the ones that are spending that newly created money. Cantillon famously noted that if the new money comes into the hands of savers, that the interest rates would decrease. But if it comes into the hands of consumers, the interest rate would increase as entrepreneurs or business people would need to borrow more to meet the increased demand for goods, right? So I want to talk about stagflation and why this helicopter money thing causes stagflation and it basically describes the economic situation in which there is like below potential growth and noticeable inflation coincide. So a humble look into our monetary past and history teaches us that neither the mainstream economy nor central bankers can control the specifics of inflation dynamics. Inflation is part of a psychological part of the human beings. They will not provoke inflation. The thing is that when people feel safe enough to start spending money, they will spend it and inflation will rise, okay? If, if creating new money into existence helped the economy, well, counterfeiting would be illegal. As I told you, waves of inflation occur unexpectedly and within a short period of time. And how can we prevent ourselves from these episodes of inflation? I want to make a small parenthesis for you guys to subscribe to the channel to get the latest insights of finance and management.